Hi there. In this quick video, we're going to look at how you can use an extension to enable voice typing in Gmail. So if you really want to cut down on the amount of typing that you're having to do, then this is the way to do it. And uh, let's go in and have a look. So, I'm here in my Gmail, and as you can see, I like to operate as much as possible at inbox zero. And what I've got at the top here in my extension bar is the extension called Dictation for Gmail. Uh, and that icon just sits up on your bar and turns red when you're in your Gmail. So if I'm in another part of G Suite, that just grays out. So it's only live when you're in Gmail, okay? Now I've given it the permission it needs, and what I'm gonna do now is come to Compose, and I'm going to compose an email. So all I'm gonna do is you'll notice, now I've got that extension installed, I've got here a microphone icon and a language selector, okay? So there's all sorts of different languages and regional dialects that you can use there. And all I need to do to compose an email is quite simply click. Yeah. Hi, Dave, comma. I'm just dropping you a quick email to let you know that your proofs are ready for you to check. Can you take a look at them and then sign the confirmation and return it back to me, please? Thanks. So I can just stop the microphone there. And obviously it's not 100% perfect, but then I can just tidy it up a little bit um, because it's pretty accurate. I might put a full stop there and just put a capital letter there. Now I could say full stop when I'm talking and comma, so I can use those sorts of commands, but I can just tidy it up a little bit like that, which saves me doing a lot of actual typing, okay? And then that's ready to send. So I can choose a recipient and a subject and send it, okay? I'm just going to close that for a moment as a draft and we're going to look at a second one because we're going to look at a second language. So all we need to do down here is just choose from the language collector, selector, sorry, I'm just going to choose Espanol, okay, and I'm going to do exactly the same again. Estimado señor, le estoy escribiendo porque tengo unas problemas accesando la red Mientras estamos en estas, estos tiempos, perdón. Okay, and I can just pop in there and just take out anything that it didn't need to. And we're able to make those changes accordingly. Um, there we go. So it saves me doing too much typing and it does work in other languages as well. So if you want to save yourself a lot of typing time, particularly if you're sat at a keyboard all day, if you've got the facility to use a microphone, why not give it a try? Brilliant for accessibility features, for people who've got limited dexterity, but also for those who are reluctant to type, it could be particularly useful as well. Okay, give it a try.